Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your twin flame check-in. This will be for the second half of July. I know I'm a little late. Better late than never, though. Alrighty, so this will be from the end of July. Well, now going into the first week of August. Alrighty, but do keep in mind that energy is fluent. And whenever you guys hear this reading, then that's when it that's when it will resonate for you or with you. Your situation are um, that's when you're meant to hear it. Okay, so let's definitely hop in and see what's going on with you and your person. Let's see what's going on in your twin flame connection. Um, this is general. It's a collective reading. It's going to be for all of the zodiac signs. I think last time when I did it, I think I did it by element. Um, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I did it by element, but we're just going to do a general read for um, all of the zodiac signs. So this will just be a collective reading. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on in your um, twin flame relationship. As always, let it be great. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, do subscribe. Um, hit that bell, guys. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on with you and your person. Um, again, this will be for the second half of July, going into the first week of August. Um, I will be extending the reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. Alrighty, um, so let's see what's going on. Let's pull some um, romance angels and some twin flame messages before we hop in, okay? Let's see. Messages for the collective. What's going on in your twin flame relationship right now? Messages for the collective. Twin of flame energy. What's going on with the collective? Let's see. Oh. All right, we have love yourself first. Okay, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so you or your person could definitely be focusing on the self. Okay, self-love, doing a lot of healing. Um... Someone's definitely doing a lot of inner work, okay? Um, so that's good. So someone is definitely um, loving themselves first, taking care of themselves, um, really focus on their self, okay? So if your person has been to themselves, that's probably why we have worth waiting for. So divine timing is, a, is at work in your love life. So that looks really good. So it's like this situation, um, it may be kind of unhealthy between the two of you guys, okay? But this looks like they're trying to turn things around to be better so that things can be better between you guys. This looks like it's going to be, um, you know, healthy because we're going from loving yourself to worth waiting for. So it's like I feel like this person really wants to be with you. Okay. They feel like this is something that's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play. But this person or you also knows that they need to work on themselves. Okay. Before they can come towards you and make some type of offer. Before you guys can go into union. Before you guys can come together. Um, for some of you guys, you may even be in communication with this person and maybe you're seeing that they're kind of different. They're acting different. They've been different, but in a good way without loving yourself first card here. So let's see. Give me one more message for the twin flames. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So that's what they're doing. They're so to me, I feel like, like I said, for some of you guys, you're in communication for others of you, you're not, but it's like, you can feel their energy shifting and changing. This person is really trying to make a difference. Okay. Um, Give a relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I feel like there's things that you have communicated to this person or have told this person about themselves, and that's what they're doing. They're working on their partnership skills, like they're working on how they show up in the relationship. I feel like they want to um, give this relationship a chance, but it's like this person knows that this situation is worth waiting for. They know like you're the one. They know that you guys should be together. They know that there's a connection, but in order for you guys to come together, they have to do what? Love themselves first. I feel like both of you guys should be focusing on that though, okay? Um, because no one's going to love you more than you. And self-love is the best love. And the more you guys love yourselves, the more love you can give to this relationship, this connection, okay? Um, so let's see what the overall energy is um, with the romance angels for you guys. Let's see. We have romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like this person wants to be with you. They want to... Um, have sex with you, feel connected to you, the chemistry, the passion, the feelings, all that is still there, okay? But this person knows that they need to love themselves first. And the reason why I keep saying that is because this is important. I fight this is key, okay? I feel like if you guys just look past this and try to just jump into the relationship because there's these romantic feelings and this person is changing or you see them making some type of change, 
it's like it's only gonna last for so long and then there's gonna be separation again okay so stay optimistic and it is safe for you to love yes that makes sense positive thinking and faith will bring you romance this person is thinking positive while healing themselves their feelings are there they're they're wanting to be with you they're the romantic feelings are there they the feelings have not changed and it says it is safe for you to love open your heart and uh, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all they want you to know that it is safe loving them when they come back they want you to know that their love is genuine it's pure it's it's different than it was before you know they want you to know like they're coming to you with an open heart the heart chakra is open like they're ready to actually love you and give the love that you want need and deserve so that's why i said this loving yourself first card is very important right now okay so let's pull some twin flame messages and then we're going to hop into the reading. let's see messages for the collective twin flame messages for the collective twin flame messages for the collective Messages for the collective. All right. All right. So let's see. Clarify. Love yourself first. Why is love yourself first? And remember, the energy could be interchangeable. So this may be you. Um, going through this. This is your. This could be your person. Remember, we embody both energies, masculine and feminine energy. All right. We're just doing a check in on the situation, the energy between you guys. So let's see why love yourself first is here. We have. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. Alrighty? So it looks like you guys have some past life history. And it looks like in a past life, this person let you down. I feel like in a past life, this person couldn't really love you, give you the love that you were wanting or needing. I feel like this person could have been selfish in a past life as, as well. Okay? They were just, you know, really focused on themselves. Um... And not giving so much to the connection... And that's why I feel like this person is wanting to work on themselves so that they won't be like, so they won't be loving you in a selfish way. Okay. I feel like this person is definitely wanting to open up the heart and show and give and express the same love that you have been given to them. Okay. In this relationship, in this connection is what I'm getting. Okay. So I feel like there's something that needs to be healed from the past life. And I feel like in this lifetime, maybe you guys can get it right this time and heal the relationship, but heal it through love. You know, by being open, showing and expressing that love towards each other, to each other. Um, let's see why worth waiting for is here. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So let's see what this is about. So I'm playing check in. Let's see. We have time passes, but my feelings don't change. Even though you no longer trust me with your heart. See, what did I tell you guys? I told you that. Um, because this person, they were, they're selfish. You were given a lot to this relationship, to this connection. I even feel like in a past life, I feel like you just gave way too much. You were just too open. You love them. You trust them. You had so much faith in them. You were loyal to them, all that. And they broke all that. And in this lifetime, I feel like they did the same thing. And the only way that you guys can fix or heal this is with the love by them healing themselves and then being able to open up their heart to you and love you in a different way. Love you the way that they should be loving you. And to see this. And it says time passes when my feelings don't change. This person, their feelings have never changed, even from the past life to now. Nothing has changed, okay? But there is some trust issues. It says time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart, okay? So it's like you may not trust them, but it's like deep down inside, you know they're the one. You know that they're the one. You know that there's some type of connection, and they're trying to they're trying to gain your trust back, um, but they're doing it through the heart chakra like healing themselves so that they, th they can open up their heart to you fully all right um we have give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership so let's see why this is here clarify give your relationship a chance let's see why this is here give your relationship a chance we have i kept up a facade to the world but you always saw past that into my soul so this person I put on a facade. I feel like when you guys were together, they were a totally different person. They showed and expressed themselves totally different. But when they were around family, friends, or just other people, it's like they showed another side. You know, they may have acted disconnected, acted as if they didn't want the relationship. Maybe could have acted as if um, whatever problems or issues in the relationship you guys had, it was your fault. You know, stuff like that. But this person was put on a facade. And now this person wants to work on the relationship. They want to work on their partnership skills. They want to work on how they showed up in the relationship. And the only way they can do that is taking off the facade. 
I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that. You always knew the truth. You knew the truth from within, okay? At the bottom, we have time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I wish I could have, I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. So maybe they said some hurtful things to you, okay? Because they were putting up that facade, not being honest, real, and authentic within themselves. Um, the distance, the separation, and the time apart has brought them clarity, okay? And they realize that they have made wrong choices by you or by this relationship. And then we have, you are my best friend, and I cherish our friendship above all other others. So some of you guys, you guys were best friends with this person, or you just felt like this was like your best friend, like you guys can talk about everything, tell each other everything. You just maybe felt like, you know, like, dang, like, this is like, not only are we lovers, we're friends, so maybe you felt like there was a friendship and a relationship there, okay? Um, so let's hop in, let's um, see what's going on, let's see what the tarot has to say. Alrighty, let's see, twin flame messages for the collective. Twin flame messages for the collective, let's see. Twin flame messages for the collective. Messages for the collective twin flame energy. Alrighty. Alright, so let's see what the current energy is between the two of you guys. What is the current energy between the two of you guys? We have the three of cups. Okay. So both you guys feel as if this is something that's about to happen. You guys may both feel like this is something that's coming together. Three of cups is happiness, celebrating, enjoying life, living your best life. Maybe both you guys are happy in your lives right now. Okay. With the three of cups, because this is the current energy that you guys are in. So maybe you have something exciting happening. Maybe there's been something great that's about to happen. Maybe you're just going out, hanging out with friends. Like I said, celebrating life. Um, both the three of cups is like, this can also tell me that you guys are both feeling like you guys are about to reconnect soon. That there's going to be some type of coming together. Or you guys are going to see each other. Okay. Um, with the three of cups. So, um, and this is the current energy between the two of you guys. So let's see why you guys are feeling as if this is the current energy between you guys. Because you guys are both feeling like, um, both you guys are feeling like, um, happy, excited. Okay. Um, the three of cups is a really good energy to be in. Um, and also maybe both of you guys are just like out social dating other people, even though you guys are thinking about each other or like I said, you guys can just be like very social right now with your friends, but let's see why have the three of cups here. We have the knight of cups. See, I told you both of you guys feel like the other person is coming towards you. So you feel like they're coming towards you. They feel like you're coming towards them with the three of cups, knight of cups. Okay, or this is telling me like this is what you guys both want. Both you guys want this to happen. Both you guys are trying to come together and want to be together and want to see each other. All right. Um, and then we have the nine of swords here though. Alrighty. So someone is very stressed out. Someone is worried. Someone, someone can have a lot on their mind. Even though the three of cups is there, someone could be happy and enjoying life and doing stuff. But I feel like something is stressing them out though. Okay. And I feel like this is at night. And this could be you. This can be them. It could be both you guys. Remember, this is the energy that is between the two of you guys. But both you guys are not going to always feel the same energy at the same time. Okay. Um, my opinion, but I'm just saying, it's like, you guys know that you guys are trying to come together, but one of you guys, I feel because there's only one person and then it's not a swords. One of you guys are stressed. One of you guys are worried more than the other person are, like I said, these are your thoughts at night. One of you guys are like, dang, I really miss this person. I want to be with them. I wish they were here. You know, I made my bed. I got to lay in it. Why did I do that? Like, so someone is like really stressed out thinking very negative. Okay. Um, but I feel like these are their thoughts at night. I don't feel like these are their thoughts through the day. I don't feel like they think like this all the time. I feel like this is something that happens sometimes. Or I feel like, again, like this is at night when they're going to bed, they think about this and it just stresses them out. They're like, damn, like, when is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? If it's going to happen. Okay. Remember, this is just the energy that's between you guys. Alrighty. Um, so let's see where their mind is at in um, this connection. We have the Ten of Swords reverse, okay? So the worst behind them, you know, something coming to an ending, all right? Now, where their mind is at, and I see that Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like whatever happened between you guys, 
Could it just be over? Could it just be behind us? You know, is it behind us? Are we out of that energy? Could we move past this? Okay. Um, I'm going to get that card in one second. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords reverse. Maybe what you guys built before. Maybe you guys are trying to build a family. You have marriage, children, and that didn't work out. And this is something that they still want. And with the Ten of Swords reverse to the Ten of Pentacles, this is telling me that where their mind is at, their mind is still focused on building, growing, having fam a family with you, marriage, children, um, building an empire. Maybe you guys talked about that, you know? So um, this is really good where their mind is at, okay? And this is what fell on the floor of the Hierophant. Um, you guys want to take, off car take cards from the ground. So let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is here. For some of you guys, they are in a committed relationship and they just want this to be behind them. The 10 can definitely be something that's coming to an ending very soon. Um, Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah. So for some of you guys, they're already in a situation and that's coming to an ending. Okay. Um, they want that to be behind them because that's slowing you guys up from being together. Like it's causing delays. It's slowing things down. Okay. Break down the, um, the 10 of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. So someone is trying to come out of a long-term relationship or situation. They want to be with you. And then for others of you, they're wanting to come towards you. They want to, like, have this happen. So their mind is, where their mind is at, it's on you guys coming together and moving this forward. But there's something that needs to end between you guys or they need to come out of a bad situation or they're coming out of a situation. Or it could be life. It could just be things that were happening in their life. They're coming out of that, though. Okay? Um... Things are still moving forward, but it's moving forward slowly. Our things are moving slow with that Eight of Wands reverse, okay? So it looks like something is happening. They're trying to take action on something. Um, but it's just taking some time. Let's see what's on their mind. Let's see what they need to surrender to. Something's on their mind. Something's bothering them. Twin flame messages. What is this? What's bothering this person? What do they need to surrender to? Twin of Flame energy. What does their person need to surrender to? What do they need to surrender to? Surrender to non-action. See? Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. See? Oh, so this is telling me. Oh, and then we have surrender your ego. This person wants you to come to them and take action towards the situation. They feel like you should come to them. They want you to come towards them. They want to take action towards this, but they're not, even though they're not a wands is here. Because I asked what was on their mind. Why is this surrender to non-action here? The will of fortune. So this is kind of like if you want it, come get it. If you want me, come get me. I feel like they want to know that you still want this. So they want you to take some type of action on this situation. Because they're they're surrendering to steal this. That's how the eight of wands is in reverse. Interesting. But remember, I said this could be interchangeable. Maybe this is you thinking that. Maybe you're like, you know what? You need to come to me. Okay? Um, let's see where their heart is at in this connection. We have the seven of wands. See? Their ego could be in the way. They're fighting it. They're fighting their feelings. Like, they're fighting how they feel, you know, with the seven of wands here. Um, but at the same time, I feel like they're ready to defend this relationship, this connection. But they're fighting their feelings. Um... Let's see, why is the seven of wands here? See the nine of wands. What? Okay. What is going on? Let me see. And we have a three of swords. So where their heart is at, like they're fighting their feelings. Like they're they're hurt, they're wounded. It could be from another situation. Um, maybe they were recently heartbroken, but they're like heartbroken or torn over this situation between the two of you guys. And they don't know what to do. So where their heart is at right now is like, they're willing to fight for this, but at the same time, they're like kind of like trying to block it, trying not to hurt themselves, or they're already hurting this. This is like really weird to me. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Sun card in reverse. They're sad. They're depressed. They're not happy. The Two of Wands. They want to be with you, but things aren't working out the way they planned. Like, so whatever they planned, it was it didn't work out. Things didn't go as planned. And that's what they're sad and depressed about. I don't feel like it has anything to do with you. I feel like it's because they really actually want to come towards you and be with you. This is a change in direction. Or it's because they made a decision that they regret. And now 
they're just like kind of stuck. They're like, why did I do this? So now it's like they want you to come towards them. I feel like this is the other way around right here. I feel like, but it could be both you guys. Maybe they are heartbroken. Maybe they really are torn. Maybe they really do feel, you know, broken in this situation because they are sad and depressed that they can't be with you, that you guys aren't together. So, I mean, that could be the case, you know, um, be, but it's like they're being very defensive, guarded, blocked. Like this can be them pushing you away. You know, even though they want to be with you, it's like they're pushing you away at the same time. So I want to know why they feel like this. Or maybe because they don't want to hurt again and maybe they don't want to hurt you again. Um, but I just, this person, whoever this person is, they're feeling, they're feeling really hurt, really broken, very damaged right now. All right. So let's see um, where their heart is at in this connection. Let's see. Where's their heart at in this connection? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith are bringing romance. So I feel like they're trying to think positive, but this person is too hurt, too wounded, too broken. Let's see. The six of wands. But that's what I'm saying. Like this, it, it, like they can make this happen. Like they can turn this all around. They can change this. The six of wands on top of stay optimistic about your love life. For some of you guys, they're devastated over the fact that you have moved on. And maybe you want to be with them and maybe you want this to happen. But at the same time, you're just being open about your love life. And you're like, you know what? If I have to move on, I have to move on. I love you, but I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to sit here and be hurt, be broken. They're surrendering to non-action. They're not doing anything. Okay. So let's see what you guys have surrendered to because they're not doing, they want you to come to them. Okay. Um, yeah, they are not taking action. They want you to come towards them. Let's see, what are you, what have you guys surrendered to in this situation? Twin of flame energy, what have you guys surrendered to? So weird. Surrender to success. See, that's, and that's the six of wands. So for some of you guys, it's not even a relationship. You guys can just be like glowing right now. You're very successful. Um, it says, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. So this could have been a roadblock or a difficulty for you. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. See, surrender to your intuition. Your intuition told you that it was time for you guys to focus on your success, the things that you guys are really wanting, and you guys are going towards that, you're going after that, and you're not giving them that attention that you were giving them before. You, you're not feeding into their ego. You're not like sad, depressed, lonely, feeling rejected and all that bullshit. And so now they're feeling it, okay? And the two of wands would definitely represent and tell me that you, like, you've had a change in your life or something that's changing your life and they're hurt over that they feel broken they're just like dang like you're just going to move on move forward you're focusing on you you're not focusing on the relationship you're staying open and optimistic you're dating other people you're doing this you're doing that and they feel some type of way about it okay they definitely are feeling some type of way about it Aww. all right moving forward let's see um let's see how they feel about the connection let's see Eight of Pentacles. So they feel like this is something that is worth making or putting the effort into. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. They could be really working on themselves. Maybe they're trying to um, work on their finances. Alrighty, with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, maybe they've been working really hard um, with the Eight of Pentacles. But how they feel about the connection, they do want to make and put the effort into this um, connection. So let's see, Eight of Pentacles is here. The justice card. Yeah, they want to make things right. They want to be. They want things to be fair, balanced. They want to make it right by you. Um, the justice card, Eight of Pentacles, could definitely um, tell me marriage. With the Ace of Pentacles, is at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you guys, they're working on. Um, they're working on making you an offer, but it's like an offer of commitment. Something you know, like it's Ace of Pentacles, commitment. The justice card is there. They want to do the right thing. They want to correct and fix things in this relationship. So let's see why the justice card is here. Going to justice. So this looks good right here. Seven of swords in reverse. Okay. So the seven of swords in reverse will be no longer lying, deceiving you. Um, with the seven of swords um, coming up in reverse. No longer getting away with things in the relationship. With justice and the seven of swords, if there was some lies or cheat, cheating or deception, it's like they're going to get caught because they can't seem to keep up with their lies anymore. Or it's like this person is just kind of like over the lying and cheating and being deceptive towards you. Um, the seven of swords in reverse can also represent a lot of gossip and slander and the truth coming out. And now that the truth is out, it's like 
they want to put that behind you guys. So maybe that's why they're broken and hurt here. And you're just focusing on your success and you move forward and you're still open to love. And they don't see how you've moved past this or moved past them. Um, and they're not getting it or understanding. They're just like, how? So let's see how the Seven of Swords is in reverse. The Fool. Okay, they want a new beginning, clean slate. This is starting new. Some of them are um, are on a new phase in their spiritual on their spiritual path with that pool there. And then we have the death card. So they just went through a major trans transformation. Are they going through a major transformation right now? Okay, the new beginning is there, but with the death card, something has to end first. They they could be going through the death of the ego. Okay, they're going through a rebirth, transformation, transition. Something is changing in their life that is bringing a new beginning into, in, and they're bringing the, the, something. There's a new beginning. Okay, there's something new that's happening or coming, but it has to be followed by death, meaning that something, something is coming to an ending. Okay, with the death card, period, and it's gonna bring a new beginning. Okay, um, but it's also gonna awaken them. And take them down a new path. And they're going to look at things totally different moving forward. Okay. Um, so for some of you guys, when I ask how they feel about the connection, it's like you have been their guide, their teacher. You have helped them. Okay. And they finally get it. The justice card is there. Something has is wrapping up karmically. Or you're balancing out some type of karmic um, energy between you guys. Okay. And... It looks like you have pretty much kind of like done your job in that karmic part of the relationship or that could have just been like one of the karmic lessons, okay? Um, I hope I'm not losing you guys. Alrighty, so let's see. How do they feel about you? We have the four of cups, okay? So I feel like this person is lonely, you know, miserable, having regrets, missing you a lot with that four of cups, really wanting to talk to you, Okay. Um, really wanting to connect with you. They feel like you're going to reject their offer. They feel like you don't want to, you know, talk to them, hear them out. Okay. So let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Going to the Four of Cups. That's the Four of Cups here. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, they want a new beginning with you. Um, the Ace of Wands is a new passionate beginning, but it's also about energy shifting, things changing, things being totally different now between you guys. Um... See. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to show a... The, okay, they want to show you a different side of them, okay? But they feel like you're going to reject them. The Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, like I said, they are, they're trying to prove themselves to you, okay? But how they feel about you, they feel like you're going to reject them because they let you down. They, um, they let you down in the past, okay? So it's like... Why is it five, four cups here? See, the Four of Wands... So the four of wands is, for some of you guys, is like coming into union. On their mind, they're thinking about moving in together, marriage, commitment. We have the two of swords. I feel like in the past, this was something that you wanted and they couldn't seem to make a decision about it. Or they were in their mind, like two different minds about it. They were confused. Okay. And you kind of felt rejected because this, maybe you've been wanting to build and grow this relationship or have this relationship between the two of you guys. But... They weren't ready and they feel like now um, if they were to come around, you're going to reject them and you're not going to accept their offer. OK, um, because they're coming in differently with this Ace of Wands, like the way they're about to show up and express themselves is going to be different. OK, um, that's fire energy. So there is is they're showing up very different um, this time. OK, so it's like for some of you guys, you're like, like I said. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I was asking how they felt about you, and then it just cut off. So um, let's see um, how they are currently feeling towards you. Let's see how they feeling towards you. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So that's what the four of cups is there for, because they want to they wanna talk to you. Remember I said they feel rejected, they feel lonely, they miss you. We have the Eight of Cups here, okay, because you walked away, alrighty? So someone walked away, and if this is in their feelings towards you, you walked away from this relationship, and they want to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, all right? Um, let's see. We have trust, okay? So um, this situation is calling for you to have faith. For some of you guys, they could have walked away from you, maybe because um, cause the Eight of Cups sometimes can be... You know, they need to figure themselves out, figure life out, 
Um, maybe they feel like, you know, like they want to give you more, offer you more, do more, but it's like they need to walk away to mature emotionally and to be able to connect with themselves and be able to, you know, just offer and give more to the relationship. So it could be either way. Maybe you walked away, they walked away, but we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So the page of wands is here. So there is going to be communication that comes in. All right. So um, if you guys are waiting for communication to come in, that's something that's going to happen. Finances and career can be an issue here, um, especially, when we, especially when I see surrender to success. Like I said, some of you guys are like moving forward. You're doing you. You're living your life and you're not looking back. And they're just like, dang, and they're trying to, you know, catch up with you or they're trying to, you know, come up themselves. So that can also be an issue here. OK, for some of you guys, we have released your ex. We have finances. Maybe they had a release an ex or maybe they released the ex, divorced someone, se separated from someone. And it has this. It just has, um, what's I going to say? It has affected them financially, okay? Um, someone that they were with, okay? Because we have deception. So for some of you guys, someone found out about you guys and it could have caused issues in that relationship, okay? Um, yeah, see, someone was mad or upset that someone was attracted to someone else, Okay? Um, or wanted to be with someone else. So the ex or the person that they're leaving could be going after them financially, okay? Or this person is, you know, financially stable and they know if they release that person, it's just going to cause a lot of issues. But no, yeah, it's the five of wands. Like this is, yeah, a lot of people after them financially are this person fighting or wanting money from the situation or um, them having to give up a lot of money finance, like, you know, I can give up a lot of money in this situation. They could be arguing about money or finances and stuff like that. Um, or maybe you guys did argue about that. Maybe that was an issue in your relationship. Okay. Um, so because one of you guys could have always been the breadwinner, the person that was financially stable and they weren't, or, you know, like maybe you've always surrendered to your success and they didn't like that and it could have caused issues and maybe that's how they wanted to walk away. They felt like they couldn't, you know, like I'm not going to say for some of you guys, I feel like they were trying to compete. They could have been jealous. They could have been upset. It could be a lot of different things. Okay. Um, so let's see where you guys are currently blocked at. We have a strength card in reverse. So self-doubt. Okay. Um, lacking courage. Not motivated. Okay. Um, that can be you or that person. Um, because remember it, um, it can be interchangeable in it's a, I'm just doing a general twin flame reading, but, um, someone is lacking the courage that feel like this can be them. Um, they're lacking the courage there. There's a lot of self doubt here. Let's see how the strength card is coming up reverse. You have the five of pentacles. They're in a lack mentality for some of you guys. Okay. And they're struggling financially. Remember I told you they're trying to get their finances up. Okay, so they may be blocked within their success and their finances right now. Um, are there in some type of lack mentality? They're doubting themselves. Um, they're not believing in divine timing. I feel like some of you guys are too. I feel like you guys are like, okay, it's taking forever. But it's like they want this to happen, but they know they have to work on themselves. That's why I said loving your love yourself first is key. Because if this person loves themselves, they wouldn't they wouldn't doubt this. They wouldn't you know, lack the courage. They would, you know, if you love yourself, you're motivated, you're inspired, you're going to do what you love, you're going to follow your heart's desire, period. Okay, so let's see where you guys are blocked at. Let's see why you guys are blocked. Where is this relationship blocked at? With love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, okay? And for some of you guys, it's the fact that they, they, they love you, they want to be with you, but they feel like they don't deserve your love, okay? They feel like maybe it's because of the way they did you, how they treated you. Okay, and you still invested, you still waited, you still gave to the relationship. They're they're trying to figure all this out. Like, how can I love this person? How can I give this person, you know, the love that they've given me? Like, love is an issue. So they've had a hard time showing and expressing love. They had a hard time loving. Okay, maybe they have some issues in their in their past. So let's see why the love card is here. Going to the love card. Why is the love card here? Karmic completion. So that was that was something that was a karmic issue between you guys. Okay, I think I said something like that before in the beginning. So that was something that was a karmic issue between you guys. So you're opening this person up to to love, like to love themselves. You're opening up their heart chakra. Like I said, you're their guide, their teacher. You're helping them. Um, you're, you're helping them overcome something. Maybe they struggled a lot, went through a lot. Um, this is poverty. Um, not having much, not getting a lot of love, attention. 
Um, maybe everyone around them has given up on them in their life with the shame card in reverse, five of pentacles. We have uh, nature. See, they weren't never really loved or, or nurtured, okay? No one ever really took care of them or, you know, gave to them or loved or nurtured them. Or they always struggled. They always went through things. They could have been suffering or going through things since childhood or, like, as a child, okay? And it's, like, with the patient card here, it's, like, I feel like either you've been patient with them in this situation or it's like with patience, I feel like they're trying to be patient now and be understanding to the situation. This is something that's wrapping up karmically. So now that they're putting the work and loving themselves, it's like it's all about the payoff. This can also be some type of past karmic debt that they needed to pay in the past. Maybe they built up some karmic debt here and it kind of could have blocked the heart chakra or blocked certain things for them. Maybe it could have blocked the way they love, how they show love, express love. It could be a lot of different things. Okay. Um, but let's see. All right, let's see. Where's this connection blocked up? Why is it blocked with love? Facade. So someone faking to be happy, put on the facade. Um, stepping out on faith. All right, that can be fear, acceptance, okay? For some of you guys, it was just, it was just hard for them to accept that you love them, okay? That's, for some of you guys, that's what it was. It was hard for them, it was hard for them to accept the fact that you love them for some reason. They're not used to that. They weren't used to that. That's come to a completion, though. Like I said, everyone that was in their life has done something wrong to them, has hurt them, hasn't loved them, abandoned them. They did something to them. Okay, and they're going through a renewal. See, the perseverance card is here, and it was at the it's right here, too. So they're coming out of that and they're gaining enlightenment on all of that. And prayer is definitely gonna help this person or help you or help this relationship. They're finding balance, okay? And all the gossip, all the things that were said or happened or done, despondence. They they need to start responding to that, reacting to that, thinking about that, reflecting on that, letting it trigger them. They need to stop all of that, okay? Um so, I'm going to stop it here, okay? Um, I am going to extend the reading, alrighty? So, on the other side, um, I'm going to look into their hidden feelings, okay? So, let's see what's in their hidden feelings. We have judgment, okay? Um, what does your twin flame need from you? We have the ten of pentacles in reverse, okay? What do you need from your twin flame? We have the Five of Cups in reverse. Um, their karmic issues or lessons that they're working on right now is the Six of Swords. Let's look at your karmic lessons and issues that you are working through right now. We have the Hangman. Okay. Um, how are you helping your Twin Flame heal? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see how they're helping you heal. We have Justice. So we saw that in a reading. Something was wrapping up karmically on your end. Um, and if you guys can grow and work on your twin flame connection, what will be the possible outcome? We have the moon in reverse. Okay. So I'm going to clarify this, talk about this on the other side. Alrighty. I love you all so, so much. The link will be in the description box and I will pin it in the comments below. Send you guys lots of love and light. Hopefully I will see you all on the other side. If not, I love you all. Alrighty. Bye loves.